We built a sprinkler! A second cutest thing ever. We bought a new TV and it doesn't fit. So is this Batman and a bride? No, prince. Oh, it's a princess. Whoa. Are you guys dancing together? Yeah. Side, 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 another thing where you go to. Then turn out the other way. Wow. Where did you two learn to dance? We learned when we were little. When you guys were little, you learned? Yeah. We should now let the feast begin. What are you guys doing for a feast? Are you eating lettuce? Ow. So this is our sensory bin left over from summer camp. And what it is is it's aquarium gravel. I just got it for like four bucks at Walmart. Yay, you did it. Yay, good job. So last week was our summer camp and it was packed full of fun stuff from morning till night, all day, busy and fun. And this week is like the exact opposite of that. And what's funny is I'm actually enjoying this week even more. I enjoy some of those downtime quiet moments that can actually be really fun. So I know you're Batman. Who are you? Ballerina princess. Soon we're going to pass on to food. What food are we having today? French food. Peanut butter and honey sandwich. So I've gotten a little burnout and bored with my menu planning recently. And I remember that one of the kids' goals was to learn how to cook more meals this summer. So this week we are working on that. I had each of the big kids choose a menu item for dinner one day this week. And they're making the grocery list, doing the grocery shopping online for it, but figuring out like which ingredients and the amounts, then they're gonna help me cook it. So it's a learning experience for them and it sincerely helps me out. So Elise chose one of our favorites, red and white pasta, but we have not had this since going gluten-free. So we're making some adjustments to make it friendly for celiac. Okay. You're looking for mozzarella cheese. Right there. Good job. Here's what they chose, and I'm going to be doubling a couple of these so I can put them in my freezer. So what do you think of making a grocery shopping list? I like it. It's fun. It helps me to type and help me know where the letters are. And when I bake it, I want zero help. You want to do it all by yourself? Mm -hmm. I might have to help you a little like bit. Like with, with carrying and pouring the pasta. Yeah, you're amazing. Caleb's turn. My meal is Santa Fe chicken. So we already did the grocery shopping for all of this and now we're gonna go to the kitchen and check and make sure we have enough chili powder and cumin. We need to find chili powder and cumin. Cumin and chili. Oh, we sure have a lot of seasonings. A little so cake are so cute. Dillweed. A second cutest oh. thing ever. Seam seed. Sesame seed. Cumin. Wait, what's that one called? Cumin. Cumin. That's one of the ones you needed. <laughs> okay, so you're also salt. looking for chili powder. Kosher salt. Kosher salt. Mild chill powder. Wait, what is it? Mild, mild. Mild what? Chill. Chill or chili? Chili. Do you remember what you were looking for? Chili powder. Yeah, you found it, that's chili powder. We need more chili powder. So now we're typing in chili powder. C-H-I-L. I. Uh, I did I. Good job. And then another I. Another I. Chili. Okay, now do you see the options popped up? Do you see chili powder popped up? So now click on chili powder. That's the kind we have. That is the kind we have. So scroll down. I think I would like this bigger one. That way we'll have more for next time. The last ingredient is cheddar cheese. Can you type up at the top for cheddar cheese? Yeah. Isaac chose tilapia. That's perfect. Just add it to the cart. Okay, next ingredient. So these both had the same amount, but this one was cheaper, so I got it. Good choice. Well, Going generic is often a great choice. It's really amazing. If they can do this now, think of what they're gonna be doing when they're teenagers. They can just cook for me. It'd be awesome. Okay, Laura, what did you plan for your meal? Two mac and cheese, two salads, two apples, two grapes. Two grapes? 
Yeah. How are we gonna eat two whole grapes? We're gonna finish them today and tomorrow. So why do we need two of everything? Because we're gonna have it extra for three days. Oh, it's gonna be enough to feed us for three days? Uh -huh. So why'd you choose macaroni and cheese? Because I like it. <laughs> do you want orange mac and cheese or white mac and cheese? White. <gasps> you like white mac and cheese? That's my favorite kind too. Should we make a ginormous amount of mac and cheese for our family? Yeah. Mm, thanks for helping me plan dinner. It's starting to boil. It has to bubble. It's 12, officially 12. Is it noon right now? Yeah, look. What are you guys working on? Mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm by What are you working on, Isaac? I'm making a amusement park. You're creating one on paper? Stop. Yep. I saw one bubble raise, so we still need more. And then once it's boiling, it's gonna go boom. They're coming up. That looks so cool. It's starting. Yeah, it's starting to boil. How did all those bubbles get formed? They're coming up. I wonder, that is an interesting question. Why does it bubble? Maybe because it gets so hot that it starts to evaporate. Oh. And then the air of evaporated water from turning from a liquid to a gas has to escape and that's what's actually happening with boiling. I don't know, we should look it up. The bubbles come up the side. Look at all that. See, the bubbles come up the side. So cool. Let's just put them in. We gotta wait till it's boiling. It's boiling. I think we should put it in. It's literally boiling. So you guys gotta be careful when you dump it in. If you do it too fast or in a way that splashes over, it'll burn you. So be really careful. Good job doing it really soft. How do you do it? Let's let Laura try it. She wants to try. Good job, Laura. That looks so cool. All right, now let's get the cheese in there. All right, mix it in. Janae is helping me with the puzzle. She's is she actually helping or? Uh... She's taking them one by one and pushing them on the puzzle. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I get that piece. And yes, she's still in her pajamas. Good job. Where does it go? Yeah. Right there. Right? Uh, that one. Uh, oh, it goes up there. Uh, yay! Thanks for helping. Look at her proud little smile. She's like, I'm helping. That one? Uh, uh, no. That's a good one. Where's it go? Teacher, do you love me? So Jeremy and Elise are singing a duet at church in a couple weeks and they've been finding little moments to practice and I can hear them singing in the other room and it's just beautiful. I need your love, I need your light to show me how to be like Jesus. And with the Savior as our guide, I'll share the light I feel inside and you will feel his love for you. To show me how to, to be like Jesus. There's monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies? Oh, there they are. These might just be moths. I don't know if they're monarch butterflies. Hey, do you guys wanna help me build something fun? Yeah. Let's go to the garage. So our plan is to build with PVC pipe a fun water toy for the kids. All right, so the idea is that we created a closed system with the PVC pipes, and then we're gonna put the hose right here. Do you guys remember when we bought this one? We might even add another hose in. We could have another hose come in on this side, and we have to have a perfect pressure system so there can't be any leaks. How will we get wet? We're gonna drill holes in the wet? pipes so that it squirts out of places we want it to. Can we get wet? Yeah, of course. Today? Of course. Okay guys, you all go get your swimsuits on. We're gonna test with just this one and then hook it up and see if we had to work and then we can add more tubes as we go. So this is like a drive-through sprinkler? Yeah. Hypothetically. So they hook up the hose right here. You guys think it's gonna work? Yeah. I think it'll take a while because it'll have to build up, but once it does, yes. It has to get up there. That's a good point. 
so we bought special connectors that are supposed to connect the hose to the PVC pipe. Is it working? Uh, not like I had hoped it would, but let's see if this will work. <gasps> there it is! <laughs> Our sprinkler has worked! <laughs> oh, there it goes! There it goes! It's better! It did work! <laughs> it's gonna blow! <laughs> yeah, so one weak spot can cause some serious problems. It's a million holes, it's gonna be... Yeah. It's gonna be super you fun. Guys, that's just one spot. Janae is not sure about the sprinklers, but she likes the water table. Mm. <laughs> They're building it, piece by piece. It's better if gravity is on our side with the hoses. Have the hoses come through the top. So I thought that these would screw together, but I needed a smaller size. Smaller diameter tube? Yeah. Is this gonna be a success or a fail? We do not know yet. But for possible breaking points. Oh, there's a possible breakage point. Watch out, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> I think what we've learned is coming from the top doesn't work, unless you're holding it. You got me! I need to get you, and your camera! Yeah. Well, you're tall, Daddy. Do you guys see what we're doing? This is called trial and error. <laughs> I'm singing it today! It's not in the middle! Jeremy, you might get a little tired there. It, it was a flawed system. <laughs> we built a The raindrops. Yeah. I think I might have drilled too many holes, so it's not quite as explosive for the kids. <laughs> so one thing I love with kids is you can teach them the principle of something like this water system sprinkler that we created and then you can let them loose and they can just build their own. Long story short, we bought a new TV and it doesn't fit in the opening for our TV on top of our fireplace and that is totally my fault. I'm the one that measured and told Jeremy what size to buy and I forgot to account for the little stand. See, it would totally fit if there wasn't a stand. So Jeremy is being an amazing sport and now taking apart the TV that he set up. We could get a mount, but because it's so far back here, we just feel like it's gonna be better to get a smaller TV. Well, we're grateful that Best Buy will let us return it, but I feel so bad that Jeremy has to do this again. Not only can he assemble a TV, he can take it down and fit it back into the box. A true measure of manhood. Success. Yeah, of manhood. <laughs> All right. Let's go get a TV that fits. I left the remote at home. So we have to go back and get the remote. But they were really impressed that we got it back into the box. They said that never happens and that we did it nicely. So sure. I'm proud of you. Kendra and I had so much fun. For 15 minutes, we just stood up here and watched Elise. She's such a great little girl. We love her. Good night. Do you have a Go!